Yeah, stop, stop. I will lose my lunch. Jeez, someone had a good talk with their mom, huh? Does it show? Well, you're smiling and not complaining, so yeah, it shows. Would they ever complain? What, is she coming back? Uh, nothing definite, but probably soon, I think. Cool. Still want to go to the beach? Soaking up rays with my best friend. I can't think of anything better. Well, then let's get on it. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> you got everything? Yeah. Go ahead. Did you hear me? I'm trying to tell you that I care about you. Okay, and I think you care about me too, Celia. Tell me you don't. Huh? Found it! Pete! Did I mess up? <laughs> Were we supposed to meet up today? Mm, forgot your shades. Oh, must have forgotten it at your place this morning. Yeah, when you stopped by. This morning. Is that what you were looking for? Oh, I know people call it a little black book, but in my case, it's pink. <laughs> You're after your next victim? We have to find an eligible bachelor for the charity auction. Well, you can put that book away because Pete volunteered. He'd love to be auctioned off. That enough. is definitely that not it. That is a fabulous idea. You are hot, young, rich. You will definitely up the bids for our charity. You're perfect. OK, if I agree, can we talk? Actually, Peaster, Silly and I have to run. Brooke just called and she said she needs us at the studio immediately. ASAP, TTYL. Oh, uh, hey, Brooke. Oh, JR. <sighs> what brings you by at this time of day? Uh, well, I, ho I heard Colby is uh, helping with the launch party for Chandler Media and uh, Talk Tempo. Yes, she is, and she uh, actually has some pretty great ideas. Oh, Thanks. good. I'm... Thanks. Oh, well, is there any chance there's room for one more Chandler on the planning committee? Well, I, I don't think picking invitation stationery and um, floral arrangements are quite your thing, are they, JR? Uh, no, they're not. Uh, I was thinking something maybe a little bit uh, bigger. A hostile takeover? <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I'm thinking of a, a sizzle reel. Your most memorable moments, like hot music, flashy visuals, you know, sneak peeks that make talk tempo a must-see. I mean, nothing says better that the online networks are the wave of the future than visual proof, right? Look, come on, Brooke, I know that I messed up, okay, but this is my family's business. I like it. You do? What, no, no fights, no objections? None, no. I think it's a great idea. Are you ready to work on it? Show me where the archives are. I'll start right now. JR should take the lead on the sizzle reel? Well, it was his idea. You know, I think it's only right that he should have the chance to follow through. Dixie got to you, didn't she? She is concerned that if he is not given an opportunity to show that he's changed, yes, that he might revert to his old self-destructive ways. If that, so... if that happens, it's nobody f nobody's fault but JR's. I want to do this for him and for Adam. I mean, nothing would be more to Adam than having his son succeed at something. I hope it works out for all our sakes. Me too. 
Oh my god. She's wearing this naughty no heels and fuchsia. I so want those shoes. I would totally break my ankles in those. So, uh, Pete told me that you guys are just friends. With benefits. So you're not dating? God, that is so not this century. Well, at least for me. That one guy, one girl thing? No. I like variety when I hook up. No commitments, no worries. That's why Pete and I get along so well. I am him and he's me. Just with facial hair and muscles to die for. Wait, what? What can I say? We both love a buffet. Oh, well, I guess I read him wrong. <laughs> Seriously? Did you see how fast he jumped at being our bachelor? No, not really. He's just playing hard to get. He totally digs the idea of having women clong at each other to win a date with them. You really think they're gonna act like that at the auction? Let's totally make a pact that we won't let ourselves get that way over Pete Cortland. Deal? Hey, man. I'm doing the sizzle reel. Grab me all the shows you have. That was the director. Angela's gonna be pissed. Look, I don't care who it was. When I ask you to do something, you stop what you're doing and you go do it. Okay? Seriously? Do you have any idea who I am? Uh, obviously you don't. I'm J.R. Chandler, as in Chandler Media. You get it? Now give me the show numbers. The problem here? Look, only with this idiot. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't we just, all of us, calm down? And you, you. Brooke just told me your idea for the sizzle reel. I think it's great. And it's bound to have a big impression with both our investors and your father. Well, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, if I can get some freaking cooperation around whoa, here, you know, whoa, whoa. Sp space is a little tight right now. Hey, why don't you work from home? I can have Jay gather up everything you need, have it messengered over, if that works for you. You know what? I don't want to be difficult, yeah, Dimitri. Yeah, no, 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 no. And then you, you, you sort out your files, we get you an editor, one of your choice. How's that sound? Great. Thank you, Dimitri. Hey, 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 it's my pleasure. Jay. Give him whatever he needs. It'll make our life a lot easier. All right, here you go. Oh, Ciao. Thank God it cleared up. Yeah. Tan lines, here I come. Why are you staring at me like that, creeper? No, I was just gonna say you need sunscreen, okay? Oh, Take it easy. you're right. Um, will you do my back? Yeah. Okay. Hey, now you gotta guess what I'm writing, okay? Oh, you know you're so much better at this than me. Come on, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? O. H. I. V. R. Oliver? What kind of word is Oliver? Oliver? Really? Oliver? Come on, Miranda. Right, try again. That's what you said. Try again. Okay, all right. Uh, L. Uh, Oliver? Oliver? Oliver, yeah. Like the cook's grandson? Okay, is he adorable or what? Yeah, he is. And you know what? You're a total lotion dyslexic, <laughs> oh, too. Shut up. You use some crappy handwriting. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Uh -oh. no. Stop it. Stop it. You are dead. Get off me. Hey, Heaps. Hey. What's up, girls? Glad you could join us.
First on the agenda is an auction with biddings on things like trips. We'll get a travel agency to donate mm -hmm. and possibly a car for one of the local car dealers okay. and a day in a spa mm -hmm. and also get this, a date with one of Pine Valley's most eligible bachelor. Oh, I love that. Mm. <laughs> so did you find somebody who's willing to do that? Mm. I already did. Yeah. Get this, Petey Cortland. Oh. He is thrilled to do the deed for charity. Yes? No, we do not want cake pops. Because this event is not taking place in 2010. Besides, we already have someone taking care of desserts. Catering screw up. I have to take this. Okay. So, are you okay with, um... With Pete being auctioned off. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? It's for a good cause. Besides, it's not like me and Pete are um, hooking up or anything. Oh, I know. Well, not anymore. No, I know. It's just that, you know, that doesn't mean that you don't still care about him. And I wouldn't be surprised if he still cares about you. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Pete is not the right guy for me. Well, what made you change your mind? Pete... Uh, he plays things free and loose, and he wants lots of girls in his life, which, that's fine. Uh, that's just not me. Well, it's funny because, um, I get the feeling that Pete is into you and just you. <laughs> well, I'm sure he makes every girl feel that way. Well, you know what I think? I don't think he would have taken you to New York and treated you with such respect if he didn't think that you were different than all the other girls. Maybe he likes variety, or he likes a challenge. Maybe he likes you. Trust me, Celia, it takes a special woman to make a man change. And you, my dear Celia, are a very special young woman. Thank you, Frock. And you know what? I think that Pete agrees with me. <laughs> Is this the, uh, the pose you had Palmer Cortland strike before you shot him? Every man is different. To capture the soul of my subjects, the lighting needs to be perfect. And, and of course, it, uh, this is a question of funds. Uh, just open your pockets and they can be lined even more deeply. No, go, go on, open them up and we'll line them right now. If it takes it sooner, the better. Come on. That won't Shoot. be necessary. Hmm. Well, above, above all, you understand, I want quality. Yes. Now, I don't, I, I don't care if, if, if this is, if that camera can, can put the quality, the essence of Palmer Cortland's soul there, and he can capture my essence, too. I can tell, mm -hmm. sir, you are a man of great distinction and quality, and I assure you, the image will match. You know, every uh, important gentleman has a photograph taken by a, a high-class shutterfly professional. OK, I think we're ready. No, I mean, luckily I hadn't even started it yet, but it's gonna be a sizzle reel you know, for the Chandler Media launch party. Brooke put me in charge. Oh, honey, that's so great. I'm so glad Brooke's giving you that opportunity. You know, this is my chance, Mom. Okay, to prove to Brooke that I can be part of this company again. Well, don't put too much pressure on one event, you know. You still have to deal with your dad. I don't know what, I shouldn't even have to deal with him, Mom. Do you know that by birthright alone, I'm supposed to be part of this company? No, no, and I am going to be part of it, okay? I'm going to make that damn real, okay? And I'm going to prove everybody wrong. 
I'm so glad you called. You should have said something about coffee before you dropped off my shanks. I didn't want to add to Celia's confusion about us. What are you talking about? It seems she's under the impression you and I were a thing. I mean, who could have led her to believe that? Who knows? I mean, she is old-fashioned. Maybe she just assumed since we slept together, we're an item. How does she know we slept together? I, I certainly didn't say anything. Oh, how should I know? Maybe she's perceptive and just picked up on her hot vibe. <laughs> you didn't say anything. No. But she did grill me about the two of us, and I just told her she we were just friends. <sighs> you can thank me any minute now, can't you? Thanks. <laughs> So, about that friendship thing, I could go for some of those benefits now. How about you? Uh, it's not a good idea. Oh, please don't tell me you have to work again. If you're gonna choose some biotech nano app over me, I just might as well kiss my self-esteem goodbye. Listen, I've had plenty of time to think about hooking up with you. Trust me, Colby. It's a no-go. Are you high? We were hot together. Can I get you two anything else? No, Jane, actually, we're good here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Whatever happened to the Pete Cortland we all knew and loved? The one that would jump my bones in a flash? Maybe I'm changing. I'll see you later, Colby. Fingernails. Oh, my theme song. Anybody want ice cream? Oh, me. Something chocolate. Oh, me too. All the twist. Andrew, do you want to help? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Kirsten and Rachel, what's up? Slumming today? Hey guys. Just catching some rays. Why are you hanging with it? You know, if you're seen with her, your cred is toast. We're gonna go get some drinks. Do you guys want to come? Nah, we're good. We're good. So I heard you're having a major party at your place. Oh yeah, it's for a charity <laughs> thing. You gotta wear a tux. Sounds awesome. Yeah. You know, you should totally come. Miranda's gonna be there. Don't you have to have an invite? Yeah. But Brooke said I could bring whoever I want. You down to come with me? That would be great. All right. You know, you should really try rubbing sugar water on your chest. Why? Because maybe a mosquito will bite you and hopefully you'll get some boobs. <laughs> yeah, let's see those itty bitty teeth. Screw you, Kyle. Oh, you know how? But you only did it with girls. I guess it's time to go meet your lesbo girlfriend. <laughs> Woo! I bet hey. you can't wait to show Adam all of this. <laughs> I think it's going to be more a question of when do I show him at the rate he's going. I'm not sure he's going to show his face around here until, well, I don't know, season two. Well, won't he be at the gala? I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you must miss him. Somehow I don't think you came over here to ask about Adam. I didn't. You're right. I wanted to thank you. Oh, for what? Well, for giving JR a chance. With the sizzle wheel, it really means a lot to him and to me, too. I have to be honest. I was very wary of letting him do it, you know, because this is a big event and Chandler has to be shown in the best way possible. I know, but JR is up to the task. Trust me, he's going to put his heart and soul into this reel and make it amazing. I'm sure he will. But I uh, can't say that it doesn't worry me a little. How so? Well, JR is counting on this reel to cement his place at Chandler. Dixie, all I can do is give him a chance to prove himself, and whether or not that results in a job at Chandler Media, that's up to JR. That's all I ask. I didn't expect to find you here. Have you traded in your taste for Cristal? 
May I? Sure. Since when have you chosen a latte over champagne? It's way too early. Besides, I'm not in mood for bubbly. Pine Valley's own Paris Hilton? Not in the mood for a party? Something's right in the state of Colby Chandler. What's up? Just life. Why do I get the impression this somehow involves my current business partner? Let me guess. Petey decided to cool it off with you? David, I can handle any guy that comes my way. I don't need an over-ego man-child to boost my self-esteem. My mistake. But still, you might be interested in a little retribution. Maybe stick it to little Petey just a wee bit. I'm listening. Not only does my idea have PC Jr. take it on the chin, it just might shake up a few Chandlers as well. You want in? You have me at retribution. Hey, you. You mind if I sit down? It's a public bench. Ouch. Are you mad at me? No, please, sit down. <sighs> now that's just the two of us, alone, can we please finish our conversation? What's left to say? I love you, Celia Fitzgerald. Only you. children. I think I'll pass on the sex tape, Colby. Uh, I'm not Colby. I'm Brooke English, the lame-ass host for Talk Tempo. <sighs> well then, <sighs> hello. Well, where's the fire, Mom? You are looking at the next big reality TV star. I just want to atone for my sins. Oh. And how you got to do that? By buying Dixie's forgiveness? Who, who is this incredibly generous person? He, he uh, wants to remain anonymous. I have bad news. About Cass. I just want to die. 